All right, Coach, we'll just have you open him uh, with a general statement on the game. Obviously, disappointing end of the year, but let's talk about what happened today. Well, I th <clears throat> first of all, I thought we played a very good team. I think Stonehill's very good, uh, really good discipline, good structure, a lot of balance in their scoring. Hard to guard. I thought, uh, you know, they would make a run. We would counter the run, get back to three, four. Couldn't seem to ever get over that hump, take a lead. But, uh, you know, I thought our kids played very, very hard and uh, really proud of them. So yeah, talk, talk a little bit. Um, you know, you won the CAC championship last year, one of your most successful seasons in program history. Just talk about what this season has meant to you, uh, this senior class, what they've meant to you, uh, and how you remember this team. Well, I think the biggest thing is last year we finished twenty six and six, and we had four seniors, four juniors back, and then Kate Cunningham was coming in as the the fifth wheel, if you would. And I think uh, we knew early on our goals were going to be to try to win a conference championship, get to the NCAA tournament. And our goal was to get to the regional final. That's we felt that would be the next step up. And uh, I thought we did a really good job in, in playing the regular season out, win our conference championship over a terrific sciences team. And just, you know, I told them when you get to this level, everybody's an A team and you can lose to anybody. But I think in particular, you have to point out that Jess finished as the MVP of the league, the defensive player of the year in the league, just got made uh, first team all region with possibility of making an all American team, which I think she. No question deserves and uh, scored maybe 1,500 points by the time her career is over now. But I, I thought it was a great year. I thought Kate, on the other hand, as a sophomore, stepped up to become a major player for us as a first team all conference player, a scorer. Uh, we're going to get her defense there, but she did a pretty good job. But, uh, so I, I think it was a, a great senior class. Bev Coom, who transferred in from Valley Forge Military Academy, winds up with a record of. Uh, 55 wins and nine losses in two years. So that, that's a terrific addition. And Velez Jackson, who didn't see a lot of floor time, but was really a, a key component to our uh, our second team. Uh, it's a big loss in the senior class. Jessica, a question for you. Obviously, I know it's, it's tough. You know, your career's coming to an end, but you want to just kind of look back at not only this season, but your career as a whole, what, the, what this Thomas Jefferson has meant to you. I mean, it's definitely meant a lot, like said. Um, goes by a lot quicker than people think. You know, my teammates are my best friends. We don't have any trouble being around each other. That's I think that's what I'm going to miss the most is just everybody on our team. Kaylin, obviously, yeah, it's a little bit of a different situation for you being a sophomore. Um, talk about what the senior class has, has meant to you individually as this team and kind of how you guys are going to build on what they've done moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, the senior class is a huge contributor to our team, so losing them is going to be a big deficit to us, but I think we have a lot of players who can step up for next year, and it's going to be really sad seeing them go, because like Jess said, they're, we're all best friends, so I live with two of the seniors who are leaving, so it's going to be really hard, but I think next year we have a little bit more to look forward to, so hopefully we can continue the good runs we've had for the past two seasons. So you're promising that we'll be back? We'll be back? Yeah, I'm promising. <laughs> um. Kate, you guys on offense just could never really get going. You shot 35% for the game. Um, what On the floor, what did you see that they were doing defensively that gave you guys challenges on offense throughout the afternoon? Um, I think it was more of our offense. Um, we were missing our three-point shots, basically, and missing all of our jump shots. So it was more of, I think, us on the offensive end of not hitting them than it was on their defensive part. Um, they were giving us a few wide open three point shots that we weren't knocking down and um, coach kept saying to us get to the basket, try to get them in foul trouble so we can get some of their better players out and um, that was kind of more of the offensive mindset so I would say it was more of us missing shots than it was defensively for them. Jess on the other end of the floor, kind of like what coach said earlier where you kind of, every time you kind of got within a possession and got close, they would come back down and hit a big three or string some shots together. Um, defensively, what was their offense doing that was giving you challenges uh, today? What was their offense doing that was giving us challenges? Um, I just think that when we were scoring, they weren't um, you know, getting down themselves. They were still all with each other, and they would come back and hit a big basket or make a good play. And I, like we were talking about the locker room, they had 27 assists on like 35 baskets. Like They shared the ball really well. They looked for each other. And I just think that they were patient on offense, and they got a lot of open like layups from us having help. And, just kicking in the wide open um, offensive player. Just, I think they just played really good offense. You know, Rob, just to add to that, I think the one thing, they, sh they shoot threes well, so you're out trying to defend at the three-point line, but then they can post you well. And if, they're, if you're out defending at the three-point line, you're not going to be able to get help inside. 
So I think it was kind of pick your poison at some point. It was like, let's at least give up the two rather than give up the three. But they're very versatile and they can do multiple things, and I think that's what causes big, big problems. And Coach, we'll wrap up with you. You know, historic season for the program, school record of wins, conference title. Um, you get your highest ranking at one point in school history, being ranked as high as second in the nation. Um, you do lose, you know, four key players, but you bring back great players in Kate and Lena. What does this year and what you've accomplished this year mean for the program moving on to the coming years? Well, I certainly think it helps with recruiting because when you bring kids in and you can point to the things that have happened over the last two years, it certainly helps when you take go up against your competition, if you will. And I also think that we've set the bar pretty high the last two years, so I think the new kids that come in, a couple of red shirts that we have sitting out, they look at it and say, well, we don't want to go backwards. I mean, Kate just said it, we're going to come back. I mean, we want to come back because that's that's one maybe what we do as opposed to, you know, we don't, we do, we don't, we do. We, we want to stay consistent and we want to be recognized in the region as one of the better teams. What we need to do is get past this first round. We just we can't get past the first round, and that's our internal struggle. But, you know, we will, hopefully before I'm done. Thank you. Okay. I just want one quick question for Caitlin. Um, for you experiencing NCAA tournament action now, um, what can you take as you're now going to be moving up to the, uh, being an upperclassman? What, what can you take out of this experience to move forward and now you'll be a leader we'll, looked up to next year to be you know, carrying the torch for this, this team? What can you take out of this experience? Um, well, I think being in the NCAA tournament the past two years definitely gives me a bunch of experience and this year being a starter definitely gives me a lot more and like Coach said, every single team coming in is an A, a team, you know, they're all going to give your best and um, obviously Stone Hill gave us their best today and we gave them what we thought would probably be our best hard working wise, um, but I think going into next year having that experience um, will help me prepare, you know, the freshmen coming in and um, Haley's coming in from red shirting and I think just like having that experience and even Haley coming in and having that experience to see what it's like and the level of play that it is in the NCAA tournament will definitely be 